We're calling this video, What Did We Do to Become Fat? Or was it done to us? It Was it something that we did? Or was it done to us? You know, there's a lot of fat shaming going on, a lot of pointing fingers at us, that it's our fault. But in this video, I'm gonna explain why it really is not your fault that you became fat and obese. And I'm gonna go into some other subjects, so let's get right into it. The food industry is a complex global collective of diverse for-profit businesses that supply most of the food consumed by the world's population, regardless of how it affects people's health. We have been told for years that it was our fault. We have been branded as lazy and lacking willpower. Look what goes into this uh, uh, McDonald's uh, Big Mac here. What's in this? Sugar, fat, salt, MSG, and gaysen. Perfectly engineered for maximum taste and minimum nutrition. They make it so that the food is so tasty and so addictive that we want more, but it's empty, empty, empty calories. Look at all that bread. Look at all that carbohydrates that's in that sandwich. The food industry spends billions, that's what it be, of dollars in advertising to us 24-7. The bulk of these ads are for unhealthy products, high in calories, sugar, fat, and sodium. And when I say fat, it's the bad fat. The uh, trans fats, the fats that do harm to our bodies. There's very little profit in unprocessed foods. That's why they created margarine and Pop-Tarts. Do you know that margarine was supposed to be better than butter? And it turns out that margarine was one of the major causes of obesity in this country. And also take into consideration that a lot of the diet food that we've been led to believe was so good have proven to be major reasons for the obesity crisis in this country. You will find it hard to believe that the FDA does not have researchers on staff to verify the claims that the food industry makes about its products. Processed foods make up 70% of the U.S. diet. Now, here's what I'm telling you. The food industry does the research, presents it to the FDA, who then just reviews the research, does not do independent research. Do your own Google search about that fact. You're going to be shocked as much as I was. Let's start with artificial sweetness. We all use them. Our bodies suffer an adverse reaction to aspartame because it's toxic and unnatural. And that's a magic word, unnatural. You know, our ancestors did not eat anything that was not natural and did not eat anything that was processed. Artificial sweetness caused carbohydrate cravings. Research by Yale Journal of Biology suggests that artificial sweetness contribute to weight gain. You know, back, uh, manufacturers used to stood to save money by switching to corn-based ingredients. In 1980, Coca-Cola be began using HFCS in its beverages, and by the mid-80s, most other soft drink companies were doing it too. The food industry puts ingredients in foods that make you crave more. Just like the tobacco industry put nicotine, put more nicotine in cigarettes. It's a, it's a known fact that obesity epidemic started in the late 70s, and it took off with the introduction of HFCs, and uh, why did they replace the natural sugar? Because corn, by the government standard, was a product that the government fostered for profit to increase corn production, and corn has produced a very cheap, concentrated form of sugar which is high fructose corn syrup. Look at this uh, picture on the side here. Gain weight, drink one a day for a year. In 1955, a 10-ounce, it was 13 pounds a year. In 1998, a 44-ounce had 57 pounds a year. In 1915, 6.5-ounce cost 8 pounds a year. In 1960, a 12-ounce cost 16 pounds a year. And in 1992, 20 ounce cost 26 pounds per year. Now, in a wonderful video, Dr. Lustig, Sugar, the Bitter Truth, gain weight, drink one a day for a year. 
For the complete story, watch this uh, link that you see here, tinyurl.com forward slash 3D9RPS9. Dr. Lustig, MD, gives a wonderful presentation why we are gaining so much weight because of the sugar epidemic that comes in so many forms under so many names. The food industry not only created the obesity epidemic, they were later asked by the government to fix the problem by creating low-carb, low-fat foods for even slightly overweight. This is where the food industry hit a home run with obesity. Just like the tobacco industry did in the last 40 years, they keep saying that it is the weak-willed and obese who are at fault for the obesity epidemic, not the products. The food industry created the obesity epidemic and now making a fortune creating diet products. You know, where did the low-carb, low-fat diet get us to obesity, to diabetes? You know, the, our ancestors, the people in the 40s, the obesity wasn't uh, rampant. Diabetes wasn't rampant. Arthritis wasn't rampant. Heart disease was not rampant. And, of course, people are going to say, oh, but they died young. Yeah, they died young from other things like pneumonia, chicken pox, polio, things that today we take for granted were killing people off. Not the high-fat diet and, the, uh, and also the wheat from those days was much better than the, the fake wheat that we eat today. The food industry made fat the enemy. The biggest lie the industry created was that fat was bad for your weight, waste, and health. They created margarine, an artificial substitute for butter. As you know, it is worse due to the high content of trans fat. We all have to wake up to the no fat, no calorie marking trap. Look at these products. Are you letting the food industry tell you how to lose weight? Don't fall for the calorie, low calorie scam. You know, healthy choice, diet coke, 100 calorie packets, fiber one, uh, one high calorie carb popcorn, the, uh, the, the slim skinny cow ice cream, the 100 calorie yogurt, smart ones, uh, chewy uh, from uh, Quaker Oats, diet Snapple. It goes on and on and on. Since these products have been introduced to the market, we've gained more weight. And all, those of us who think drinking Diet Coke instead of drinking uh, uh, regular Coke think we're doing something good, like we'll have a Big Mac and everything and then have a Diet Coke with it. What that Diet Coke is doing is causing us to have more carbohydrate cravings. Sugar is in everything we eat. No wonder we can't lose weight. Table sugar is 100% fat-free. Yeah, sugar is 100% fat-free when you put it in your body. But once it's in your body, it turns to fat by the fat storage hormone insulin. I told you guys that insulin is the fat storage hormone in the human body. The food industry, forever looking for more profits, created the artificial sweetener high fructose corn syrup known as HFCS in the 1970s. HFCS, it is a non-natural product because it is a concentration of fructose in corn. On average, you're consuming about 79 pounds of HFCs per year and 150 pounds of sugar. No wonder you can't lose the weight. No wonder the majority of people are obese. No wonder that we're all struggling with obesity. Sugar high gives us the immediate feel good high. Consuming added sugars, especially in the form of soft drinks, is strongly linked to obesity. Look at this picture from an aisle in the supermarket. Every item on that picture has high fructose corn syrup or excess amount of carbohydrates or different names for sugar. There must be 50, 60, 70 different names for sugar for high fructose corn syrup. And it's a struggle we're losing because we don't realize what's being done to us. Wheat products turn to sugar almost immediately after entering your body. The new modern wheat we look like may look like wheat, but it is different in three important ways that are that all drive obesity, diabetes, heart disease, cancer, dementia, more like arthritis. You know, a lot of people don't realize that this gluten-free uh, thing that people are having is because they're consuming a new type of wheat. 
and that wheat contains super starch, amylopectin A, that is super fattening. It contains a form of super gluten that is super inflammatory. It contains form of super of a super drug that is super addictive and makes you crave and eat more. They are called glutomorphins, after gluten and morphine. Sugar has become our drug of choice. Look at this picture, modern wheat versus Bible uh, wheat in the Bible. Starch is first required to be converted into sugars before digesting by our body. Bread, pasta, bagels, rice, potatoes, it goes on and on and on. All the things that we take as, as benign are really sugar. So from now on, when you look at wheat products, just look at them for what they are. Sugar. It's like the Wicked Witch from Snow White offering Snow White the apple. These wheat products are the apple that's poisoning us. See you on the next video. Please share this information with every human being that you know. Bye-bye.